How much money can you make online making Fortnite map? This is a question that a lot of people want an answer to because if you guys are looking on my screen right now, this game has been popular for nine minutes and it's made already $3,000, which is why today I'm gonna be showing you guys every single thing you actually need to know in order to make money online for yourselves while also reacting to your games, giving you tips and tricks on how you can do better. Make sure to stick around until the end because who knows if I reacted to your game or not. If you guys wanna be in the next video I react to your games, click the link in the description and join the Discord. This video is insanely jam packed. Let's get right into it. So the first game that we're gonna check out is Bio viewer of mine called ZNQ, he made a game called Brawl Battles, and I'm assuming this is the theme of Brawl Stars, but it has amassed 1,384 players, and it's made over $1,500. This is seriously an insane amount of money for someone who's super brand new to the space, watching my videos, taking inspiration, and starting to make maps on his own. I'm looking forward to check out this game. All right, so we are loaded inside of ZNQ's Brawl Battles, and by the looks of it, it looks very, very promising. I love the cactus stuff here that resembles Solo Showdown, and I do like the ranks here. Unfortunately, rank 45 isn't actually inside of Brawl Stars, but I do see the concept they're trying to go for come the highest rank in brawl stars we also have the events here which is like golden time gold rain on the center wow this is really really cool you have like events here that people can play through play time to get more rewards and buy more brawlers we have new brawlers coming here new events and new mechanics honestly think this is really really cool and i guess you've had another one here called brawl battles as well and you also have squad busters so it seems like you really really like supercell that is awesome i think you should make a clash of clans and a clash royale game but here we have the brawlers here and honestly the way that it's resembled and looks nobody is going to be looking on the floor people are eye level when they're playing the game nobody wants to look on the floor to have the image is shown. I think what you should do is have these images on the top here and then they walk into the thing and purchase the class and you shouldn't have it invisible. I know this is a conditional button but you definitely should not have the button here. And I do like the ranks here at the bottom left how it shows the actual Brawl Stars rank. The image is actually a little stretched. It's not actually a one-to-one -one replica of it. We have the new symbol here. That's awesome. I think you should have actually made planes and had a, your own text instead of just billboards here. And I guess we have an event that's going on called Slippery Time because I know Brawl Stars has a lot of modifications to their game. But overall this is a cool UI. And now we're going to go into the cactus stuff here. And so it looks like, okay, so what is this here? I don't understand what that is. So it looks like we're in a solo showdown arena. I think what you should be doing, I think you should recreate the gem grab game, which is I think is what you're going for here. And we have playtime rewards here. And I guess we have the like and favorite stuff here. You don't really actually have that on the screen. That's pretty greedy. But overall, I'd rate this a seven out of 10, man. Definitely better than the last one I reacted to a few days ago. Let's go check out the next game. All right, so the next game that we're gonna check out is by a fan of mine called Lenny OG called Endless Tilted Zone Wars. Isn't it supposed to be called Tilted? I'm confused right now, but it is only average 21 players. It was made yesterday and it's made a whopping $14. Obviously that's nothing crazy. But as you guys are going to see later in this video, people are making thousands upon thousands of dollars every single month, which I'm going to show you how to do right now while I'm checking out this game. All right, so we're inside of Endless Tilted Pit Zone Wars here. And honestly, why did I just spawn right in a storm? Am I just, apparently I'm just supposed to jump in right now and I just get teleported. So it seems like it's just a fast paced zone war and nothing really special about the game. When you guys are actually trying to make money online with your game, you guys want to be original. You don't want to be copying other people like this guy who just copied the Tilted Zone Wars that obviously we've all played, made over millions of dollars. You guys definitely want to be keeping track and note of like when you guys are making your games you guys want to be innovative like you don't want to just be copying like this reminds me of Ryder's game it's literally a tilted one shot what is special about this game that's going to make it unique if you know what i mean and we have glider redeploy in here i guess that's pretty cool but as i'm reacting to this game i don't really see anything really special here like it's kind of just like a tilted zone wars and like there's the thing with zone wars is, is that there's really nothing that really differentiates the two and separates them apart you have to add other attributes from other games like box fights or zone wars or tycoons like a tycoon zone wars like while you're you know doing your objectives you got to fight the bad guys and your tycoon like nobody is doing stuff like this and that is why i stay on top in terms of every single thing that i'm doing because everything that i do hasn't been done before but guys please from the bottom of my heart we're gonna check out this next game but i just gave you some pointers to make more money online please stop copying others all right so the next game that we're gonna check out is by a fan of mine called inky fn called hilarious box pvp and this game has amassed eighteen thousand players and it's made over sixty six thousand dollars in the span of literally 10 days guys which is honestly insane this just shows you guys the potential of how much money you can seriously make every single day because this game is making over one thousand to two thousand to three thousand dollars every single day guys this is seriously insane for anyone trying to make money online making 40 maps but without further ado let's go check out this game all right so we're inside of hilarious box fights right now and it seems like you actually just jump in okay so i see what you're doing so i guess it's the reason why this game is doing so good is because as soon as you just jump in you seriously just spawn in and you just start having fun and you play the box fights but it seems like i spawned with a person and i'm using a remote device that i have no clue what the hell is doing this guy's invisible in front of my screen he's a little smurf i don't know what the hell is happening this is honestly super hilarious and super funny i can see why this game did amazing got to home bar this what the hell am I, what the hell am i looking at why is there an among us guy on my screen it says you lost wait for the next progress tour again apparently this viewer of mine inky does a lot of the games with his brothers and his family members this is honestly insane because he has a team of people making this honestly an insane game bro and it's super super cool can i just jump in and play again it seems like i can literally just jump back in and play again even though i've lost i can still have fun and spectate and damage people which is i love this man this is seriously super awesome it's super action-packed we have the ranks on the screen here we have you can try this game if you want we have the nice emoticon here 
here, a big promotion. We have the leaderboard here. We have the Discord for the game as well. And we have the flexor stats. You can just chop here, press the button, and it shows you all of your stats. We have the nice leaderboard here, which is seriously insane. Sam Sulik. <laughs> That's not happening. But right now, I am Shrek on my screen. How is this possible, bro? This is seriously insane. I'm literally Shrek right now. How is this allowed in Fortnite, bro? This is hilarious. This is insane. Look at me, bro. I'm literally Shrek right now. This is insane, bro. What the hell? And now I'm in a box right now? This is seriously crazy, bro. Bro, is that Tom and Jerry? What the hell? Who is that guy? I remember that guy. This is an insane game, man. I seriously rate this an 11 out of 10. The first 11 out of 10 on the channel. Man, this was a lot of fun. Let's go check out this next game. All right, so the next game that we're gonna check out is by a fan of mine called Rewinder called Max Brain OG Zone Wars. And by the looks of it, the thumbnail is very, very promising. I like the text here, how you went for the aesthetic of the OG. That is a very, very cool theme. I do like the thumbnail a lot. The game has amassed 116 players and it's only made $52. Ugh, not the best, not the greatest, but I see this game has a lot of potential. And when you guys are starting out, you're not gonna have the craziest success. But my videos are in hopes to inspire and motivate you guys to keep pushing through because you guys are going to make it. I seriously believe in you guys. But without further ado, let's go check out this game. All right, so we are inside of OG Zone Wars right now. And what I do like about this game from the get-go is that you have the ranked back bling icon at the start of the game to symbolize what type of rank you are so it's more competitive. And I guess I just spotted right away inside of a bed here. This is super, super cool. I like how it's super action-packed. It just puts you right in. And I guess we have Pleasant Park here, which is interesting. So are you going to be spawning around different portions of the map? So let's see where we go to. I like the scenery. I like the aesthetic. Oh my God, you got the goalpost too, bro. I remember how that was a that was a theme in season four of the game, how they had the goalpost with the Fortnite football skins. That is honestly super, super cool, bro. I'm glad you added that. And it looks like it's just like a cool little ranked game and it's OG Zone Wars, which is honestly super, super awesome. I think you guys should honestly check out this game because when I played OG Fortnite, it was a lot, a lot of fun. But I wonder what we're supposed to be doing here. Is there supposed to be more aspects that we're supposed to be doing? When I die here, are we going to be spawning into a new world and a new realm inside of the OG Fortnite? Well, let's go check out and see. And I guess we have an upgrade bench here that's not really in Zone Wars, but I mean, I guess you could put it in there. Okay. Do we spawn at the same spot? I sure hope not. So we have Salty and we have the farm, Pleasant. Do we choose our spots? Let me see. Let's see if we spawn two different spots. Okay, so now I'm inside of Tilted. Okay, so I do like how you added that because if it was the same spot every time, you would be in shambles right now. And I do like this Tilted Tower spot you added here. I don't believe it was exactly right here though. I feel like the tower was never this close here either. I think it's like a remake and it's an OG version. I don't really ever picture the tower being right here. Was there always two towers? I don't think there was always two clock towers and there definitely wasn't that thing over there. But I do like how you have different aspects and different spots inside of the game. That is something that I'll give you 100% credits for. This is honestly awesome. I don't know why I didn't really spawn with my guns. Maybe because I have to pick them up. But if you spawn with your guns, even more action, even more easier for the players to actually start fighting. You know, it's the littlest things that make the biggest differences inside, inside of your guys' games. You guys should definitely read the book Atomic Habits. Sorry for yapping, but honestly, amazing game thus far. I seriously rate this game an 8 out of 10, bro. Seriously, not even kidding. But wait, there's one more thing I need to talk about. If you guys know already, I released a software called Versify, which is an AI software that allows you to bring all of your fantasies and desires inside of UE Fan and Fortnite and Creative to life. And tomorrow, we're having a live event where you can actually have Q&As with us, ask us questions. During the event, we're going to be giving free live access to Versify for a limited amount of uses because Versify actually runs on a paid subscription. I'm going to change the world one step at a time and to have you guys with me documenting my growth and journey as being a content creator and motivating and inspiring other people. I'm so thankful that I can have you guys witness the journey and the rise of my career and helping and benefiting all of you guys by providing value with my videos and this AI software Versify. Let me know if you enjoyed this type of video. If you guys want to be reacted to some more, click the link in the description to join my Discord as well as join the Versify Discord so you never miss an update when we add new releases to Versify and make it better and better as time progresses. You seriously can do any single thing you want and the video on the screen right now resembles that. I hope you guys have an amazing day. It's been your boy Davey, Davey Davis. Click the last video on the screen. I'm out. Peace.